Hi, Gemini. So you're last for the love readings in November, but you're certainly not least, I promise. Why did I wait till today? Mercury's in Sagittarius, refusing to see. Your ruling planet is in Sagittarius. So speaking truths, letting things be known. I'm going to do your spread a little differently than I normally do love spreads because I just feel like it and I feel like you guys are, you know, fancy and different. So speaking our truths, getting it out. Sagittarius is kind of a fireball, but it has to happen, right? We got to do our clearing. The hanged man. Is this what you're refusing to see? Is this how you're sitting? Refusing to see. <clears throat> you know, the guy's enlightened. He looks at things in a different way. He uses this perspective to see things clearly, right? So what are you refusing to see? I really hope that this is a good love reading because <laughs> the love readings this far, oh, so heartbreaking. Everybody's going through some shit. You know, let's not do that. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Ooh, lovely. Ten of Cups. So what am I seeing? Working really hard, working very tediously, possibly at a relationship, maybe at your job. You kind of feel like you're fighting for something. You feel like you're fighting for this abundance, for this happiness. So what are you not seeing in it? I know I'm still really stuffy. It's okay, though. I feel fine. I'm just stuffy. <clears throat> I think part of it's allergies. Two of pentacles. Feeling imbalanced. The cool thing about these pentacles is one may be heavier than the other, but he's chosen it. I mean, one of these is going to drop, but he's already made his choice. He's looking at it. He's a little worried. He's not really sure if it's the right choice, but he's made it. Yeah. The hermit. And the knight of swords. I call this my word vomit card, and this could very well be you guys since it is the swords. It is communication. Sometimes it's really nasty communication, really angry communication. You could be in this five of wands fighting stage, like defending yourself, whether you're in a relationship or you're single and you're like, this is why I'm so defensive. I'm trying to make a decision. I am sitting like the hermit. You, it could be with a Virgo. Could very well be with a Virgo. But it is a very deep connection. Six of Cups speaks of a soulmate connection. Somebody that you meet right away or you just know automatically that this is the person for you. And what happens when we meet that person? New beginning. Or if you're in a relationship and you already know who this person is. The refusal to see that new beginning. Yeah, I mean, how that's these two cards right here. Actually, these three cards right here really show me that you actually know how amazing this could be. So. Gotta have my coffee. I was going to do tea, but I felt like coffee this morning. Probably should have done tea. Oh, well. <clears throat> I mean, at least you're looking at things. This is. Whoa. Everybody's throwing cards at me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. So we have a couple of people here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, working with. Um, the Knight of Pentacles speaks kind of of stagnancy, kind of 
being stuck in a place where you know you really want to move forward but it's really slow going you are moving knights do move forward but it's really slow going and there's the queen of swords there you are are you being the knight of swords though or is somebody else possibly being the knight of swords to you or vice versa we have the aquarius card the star hopes wishes dreams it could be an aquarius that you're dealing with but we also have stability, what you want. You know, we have two tens here. Two completion cards. I mean, this is what you want. You want your happiness. You want your stability. So you have to start from the very beginning, right? It's something that you have to look at. But what are you not seeing? The Emperor, this is the Aries card. So we have three different kinds of people besides you. And it could very well be that you are standing your ground. You want to have control over the situation. This is who you want to be. This is how you want to get your stability. But in the hermit kind of way, Using this small light to guide you is really tough when you want to look at the bigger picture and you just can't because you only have this small light to guide you. You're only looking at the face value of it all. The Knight of Swords is exactly what I was talking about with Mercury being in Sagittarius. People will be speaking their truths. And we've been building up to that all year long. You know? So now we've come to this culmination. Saturn is moving to Capricorn in the middle of December, or December 22nd. And if we haven't done the work, if we haven't spoken our truth, if we haven't um, come right out and been real and been who we truly are and apologize for the things that we've done and humbled ourselves and gotten rid of all of that pride when Saturn hits Capricorn it's all going to come out every secret every lie every hidden aspect of who we are because Capricorn is a very moral card it's, it, it's hard working you know you're going to be put in that situation when Capricorn hits where it's like, it's got to come out. So doing the work up to then and speaking your truth, possibly not really in a Knight of Swords word vomit way, hopefully. But it seems as though you guys have been working really, really hard on this happiness, on this stability, on these hopes and dreams. On having control over a situation that you may not have control over except it's a really strong connection you're ready for this new beginning you know i mean it's it's a culmination all the way up to today <clears throat> so the queen of swords is very rational very straightforward um i kind of don't see you guys so much as the queen of swords and it could possibly very well be these are your twins inside of you, you know? Because one can be very straightforward, um, almost biting in a way, and the other one is very rational and fun-loving and independent and, you know, and you don't really see the Queen of Swords as fun-loving. I would more, you know, say the Page of Swords. So it could be another air sign that you are dealing with or somebody that is just very rational. Um, but I do feel like that right now you guys are kind of, ooh, those are backwards, that you guys are kind of like looking at the aspects of your life where it's like, where do I want this happiness to go? Like, awesome happiness. Like, you have all of this. What are you juggling? Let's clarify the juggling. Let's clarify this Two of Pentacles. What is it that you can't make up your mind on? <clears throat> because you want to have control over the situation. You want to be the emperor. So 
Well, what is the Two of Pentacles, kids? You should, if you think I'm being hard on you, you should watch the Virgo reading. And I'm a Virgo. And I was like, <laughs> so super hard on them. So, I mean, I love you guys. And I know that you can take it. You can take the harshness. You guys have that kind of biting sense of humor. It's like we can be sarcastic back and forth to each other and not get our feelings hurt. King of Pentacles. Is this your decision? Is it going so, so slowly? And you want to push it forward. And you want to be in control. But it seems to me that somebody else is in control. And they've kind of stopped the effort or stopped the forward momentum. So now what am I deciding? Do I want to have this emotional abundance and deal with the stagnancy and deal with the slowness? Do I want to have this new beginning with a person that just can't make up their mind? Or do I want to be the Knight of Swords and say, you know, I'm not going to deal with this. You know, like, this is what I'm seeing, like, like these two are like rushing into each other, bam. And you know the Knight of Swords is going way faster than that Knight of Pentacles. That Knight of Pentacles doesn't even have a chance. Right? I mean, Earth signs, dear God. Air signs? It's like they, they can't even fathom like what the fuck Earth signs are thinking. Like, why do you want to even stay in that spot? I don't get it. Am I, am I right though? I'm right. I know I'm right because I'm a Libra rising. And my Libra rising is always like, dude, this Virgo analytical bullshit that you're doing right now is just bullshit. That's exactly what it is. Like, stop. There's no reason for it. Just decide already. All right. <clears throat> oh, funny we got that one. Oh, you guys. See, what did I say? Page of Swords. There's your other twin. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. One is a little bit more adult than the other, but can be biting. And then there's the Page of Swords that's like, all right, I just want to have fun, but I'm still going to tell you how it is because that's who I am. And I'm going to be sarcastic and hilarious and make everybody laugh, but kind of hurt them at the same time. Hurt their feelings at the same time. You don't mean to. Well, sometimes you mean to. But it is what it is. Three of Wands, actively making that choice and waiting for your ships to come in. And those ships are so very close. Like, they'll be here any day now. Are you going to jump on it? Are you going to have the strength to do it? Leo card. Are you going to have the strength to do it? To jump on that ship? Or are you going to walk away and be really sad? Six of Swords, Five of Cups. Because again, we have the Two of Cups, the Soulmate card. Soulmate, Soulmate. Happiness. Abundance. Stability. Insert Wheel of Fortune. Karmic cycle coming to an end. And then we get the world where the beginning starts. Yes, I just did that. awesome right this is awesome and we talked about you guys coming full circle in the beginning of november is this the exact same reading i'd have to go watch the video because when i do this it's like so intuitive that sometimes i don't remember and i'm sorry i didn't watch your video first but i was really excited to get this out because you were the last one and i was really excited and because you are the last one after Sagittarius for the second half of November. You'll see me wearing the same thing because <laughs> I'm going to do it today. Um, I am going to do your November 15th to the 30th reading first and then Capricorn because for some reason I tended, you know, I tend to do you guys last and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because you're just so secure in yourselves that I feel like everybody else needs that boost, but This decision that you're making, how do I get my hopes and wishes and dreams when things are so stagnant? I really, really, really love this person. 
could be a Virgo because we do have the, the King of Pentacles. Could be an air sign, another air sign because we do have um, the Aquarius card. Could be fire, we have Leo and we have Aries. So take your pick, resonate what you can, resonate with what you can, leave everything else. It's not all gonna be a perfect reading because it is general. <clears throat> Gemini. I like it. I just think that in November, you really will be making a decision in love. And if you do not make that decision in love, then this karmic cycle will continue. At least you don't have the tower. I mean, ask Taurus how that feels. I think they're like one of two signs that got the tower in November. And it's because they keep doing this karma over and over and over again. However, I like that you're the hanged man. I liked that you're the, that you're the hermit because you guys don't do that very often, sit in one spot and spiritually, I mean, you are very spiritual, but you don't spiritually think about in this very analytical way, what's going to happen. You communicate you in a very mercury way, a very mercurial way because Virgos use mercury to analyze and then communicate. You guys use mercury to just fucking communicate because that's what you do. You don't hold back. And that's cool. I like it. Um, I'm sorry you're in this uh, two of pentacles state. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what the second half of November is showing us. Um, this is This love reading is for the remainder of November. So hopefully your November 15th to the 30th kind of gives us an idea of where we're going to go with it. And I promise I'll watch your video before I do it. Uh, shop talk real quick. <clears throat> Check out the November specials. I think I'm going to do them through December too, but um, I really want you guys to like jump on it. I might switch some things up. It's all the video recordings um, have discounts on them. Um, I'm also doing gift certificates for birthdays, holidays in the U.S., like whatever. And I'm also planning to start traveling for in-person readings. So um, I'm going to be in the Midwest in um, the beginning of December in a very small town in Iowa called Woodbine. Um, a friend of mine put together a really cool uh, party-ish kind of thing. And I'll be doing in-person readings there. Um, also, I'll probably be traveling up the um, East Coast in the beginning of the year, um, starting in Florida. If you guys want me to come by and see you, if you want to like put a party together or something like that, let me know. Um, you, you know, like we'll work out the details. That would be really fun. So um, I hope you guys have a really great November. Also, um, you know, bring on the personal readings. I'm doing this full time now, so I'll be able to like work in readings a lot easier, a lot quicker. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys, you know, I'll see you in a little bit um, for your second half reading, but um, this is great, you know, voice yourself. You guys are so good at that, voice yourself. Try not to word vomit, but voice yourself. And I love you guys, you're awesome, bye.